And it's actually evolving in a Fibonacci Fibonacci spiral or the golden spiral, uh, which is the same as the Fibonacci spiral. So you heard it here, folks. It's common. We're not making this up. This is – what would you say this, man? This is like a – it's not a theory. It's an accepted practice, right? But what is it? We use oh, it no, it's a mathematical equation. Okay, okay. So uh, we use it in uh, Fibonacci numbers and applied mathematics, and we use it in our esoteric world. In our ACO club, we have a spiritual metaphysical group, spiritual science group, and uh, Dr. Sam could explain this much, much more. Uh, hopefully we'll get him back, or we'll, like you said, we could do a pre-recorded since he's so extremely busy. And he really was showing up, but he must have got delayed on the plane from Quebec to Houston on the 21st. And we're going to be uh, really disappointed that he didn't show up. But that's – we'll work it out, folks. But, you know, man, we need to do a video with him anyway because he's so busy. And uh, Ahmed and I say we're not the best-looking people to be on, but he's got a very nice face. And he assists us with self-development in our ACO club. Ace Folk Life, ACO Association, and UFO Association, and our archivist, and how we are going to be putting together the pyramids in our cosmos, uh, and how the Fibonacci, Fibonacci spiral is so important to us. Um, Ahmed, how do we uh, Explain that. Should we write it up? And we can use it in our story for sure. But the Fibonacci sequence. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's used in everything. I mean, even it's. You know, I mean, the it's just everywhere. I mean, it's part of nature. It's one of them equations that uh, help explain our reality. And we'll be using that in our Alien Stargate organization. Now, Ahmad tonight was going to start with Dr. Sam, the Fibonacci sequence, working with our cells and our cerebellum, body's little brain, you know, figuring out how the electricity in our bodies and in the matrix works with the pyramids around the world. And uh, Dr. Sam is going around, as you guys know, you can go back and listen to his history of just this year alone how much he travels but they're learning of the ancient aliens and the ancient uh, cultures and a lot of people don't want to admit that we may be extraterrestrials some of us aliens or some of us ET hybrids or walk-ins but uh, in the ascension age these things aren't so uh, taboo anymore imagine when we start graduating up levels in the chakra balancing or the colors of the chakra or the ascension age and are leveling up. It's like in the game of life. Children are taught to work in virtual reality, and they're taught with games, and they learn to level up. So in real uh, reality, the way that we grew up, we didn't have all these games to level up in. We had to learn it in school, and we called it first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and then hopefully, if we made it through the 12 levels, we went to the next two, junior college, our uh, freshman, sophomore in college, and they had junior and senior even, so just like you do in high school, but they had, uh, after, hopefully, after two, at least you get four years of college, and uh, that was just to have a degree, and a master's degree is six more years after 12. So that means you've stayed 18 years leveling up in life yeah, that, that, before. Yeah, but that's what? not a measure of your intelligence. That's a measure of your academic memory. Leveling up, yeah. And so compared now with what we do with our ACO club, we are level up with – Energy inside the matrix, but also talking ancient culture and new thought teachings, ancient wisdom and new thought teachings in the journey. We have a spiritual journey, each of us, and uh, we like to think about our essence and our soul. And uh, when we're going with all these algorithms reading us now in cyberspace, they are picking words you're using, such as uh, – let's take it down to the level of Facebook, social media for older people – 
Snapchat, Instagram, and these bots are following you around and crawl spider crawlers. There's a whole new language we have to learn in cyberspace, and most people don't care to learn it. They just use the phones, and this is going to be the way of the future. And they're getting people basically used to holding a phone now. And you're going to, they don't even hardly use computers like they used to unless you're putting the data in. They don't want people putting data in anymore, Matt. They want the uh, computers writing the languages to tell us what to do, who, when, what, where, why, and how now. And so the computers will be thinking for us, and this generation uh, is going to find out that their children – won't even remember what it was like. You know what I mean, Ahmed? These children, mine and your grandchildren right now, well, everybody after, what year did the computers really take over? Windows 95. So we started paying attention when we could all really start thinking well to each other, wouldn't you say? I don't know when you, in your reality, but uh, I know when... AOL got out there, American America Online got out there to everybody. They started talking about talking to each other and didn't even know there was an Internet outside of America Online because people used it with their computers. They didn't know about good browsers, and there was a big browser war going on, how you would go around and find information. And uh, Mad uses others. There's DuckDuckGo and Amazon uh, uh Amazon, with all the books are basically now, but there's uh, Firefox with various different languages, and you use Opera, and there was Safari, and uh, Microsoft has Bing, and uh, AT&T decided to buy Yahoo or team up with Yahoo, and you use Yahoo as an email and a browser, so now it's going to be completely different. And I don't know, we're going to apps. Everything's apps now. So we're changing everything. But here in cyberspace, my club is growing in web services and providing uh, tools to our members to help them graduate through these levels. But imagine we're still trying to do it with the soul. But what makes us different is we're willing to still show up and be counted as humans. So they don't just have to talk to bots or people that have uh, algorithmic voices or, you know, the (laughs) ones they're putting in the houses. What are those called? Oh, there's a lot of bots out there. And it's hard to tell if you're speaking to an actual human or not. Yeah, they call me on my phone sometimes, and they Mm -hmm. sound just, just like, you know, hello, Teresa. Have you thought about it? And I'm like, well, no, and then they'll keep talking. I'm like, damn it, got took again. <laughs> Dang up, click. <laughs> but uh, those things happen all the time now, folks, and it's really harder on the elders, the ones who are the baby boomers. But the kids seem to not mind it so much, but we're being programmed into – I'm not saying it's going to go away because it's not. But uh, from phones, we're going to go directly into not holding the phones anymore. And we've already gotten where we're wearing some things on our – we're wearing it on our wrist or on our glasses already because we were used to watches and glasses. And the next thing is like a man was telling you and in his sci-fi book called Concern, and you can see it on YouTube on the – a mad – do you, you have it on your own – not American Communications Online that we've got together for our own company, but he has his own YouTube channel. And it's called a mad painter, is it not a mad? I'm gonna go look. Oh yeah, it is. A M A D painter. So uh, we we write books, folks, and we're gonna be putting what we know is true to us, but we're gonna call it science fiction because a mad painter. It says 101 subscribers, 93 videos. Here you'll find videos of this show, A Mad Look at Reality talk show from Affinity JMZ and ones of uh, that's, of that's, what? Uh, I haven't really used the YouTube channel for very long. I, I don't put very much up there. Yeah, I don't either. I, don't, I mean, I've got a bunch of them, but 
It says there's R-R, a few old, I guess. Yeah, there's a few old shows when I, you know, years that I did years ago, but nothing new as far as shows go. I've put some poetry up there, and I've put some a couple of short stories recently. That's it. Yeah, it says you've got RR as a brand. It goes to Freedom Slips. It looks like RR, but it must be Freedom Slip. Oh, RR is for Revolution Radio. It's in the right-hand corner. It says Find Us Here, and then it goes to Freedom Slips still. Now, uh, did you know it still goes to Freedom Slips? Is that – will it go down? It says 26. Oh, yeah. We, we, own, yeah, yeah. we own both of them. Well, it's got 20, 2016 advertisements. It must be when he went over there. Yeah, Freedom. I haven't. I haven't. Like I said, I hadn't done anything up there in a long time except put up a couple of videos. That's it. Oh, okay. You may want to go on there and refresh everything and get it caught well, up. The, every, on the, it, freedomslips.com is still a good URL. It still goes to Revolution Radio. Okay. Well, it's concern, C O N D C E R N, what we talked about the last 30 minutes of the show and it's by a mad painter it's 35 minutes check it out and please check out dr sam Asmonagic in the bosnian pyramids and we are uh, big advocates of learning how to use our energy and do time travel so this little book uh it's free to the public and it's called con dash cern and it's the beginning and the launching of our allied stargate organization and we are uh, science fiction writers and uh, authors and radio show hosts so Ahmad has beautiful artwork, he does book covers and he's working on mine as we speak or at least the second one we work, We got one, we got to get out, I just got to read it so thank you for joining us tonight and we will have Dr. Sam back as soon as I can record him and then I'll just put it up folks to make up for this because that was an idea he had before he knew he was going to get stuck on an airplane between Quebec and Houston. A mad painter, concern, a great, great start on that with our series. And I hope that you will allow us to put that in our Allied Command group. And our Allied, I've got tonight Alien Stargate Organization, folks. Is that right? Alien Stargate Organization with Dr. Samus Monagich, Teresa J. Morris, and Thomas R. Becker, also known as T.R. Becker and a Mad Painter. So concern. Okay, so look it up on a Mad Painter YouTube. And we'll get that caught up with our T.J. Morris ET Radio and American Communications Online with Thomas R. Becker, Teresa J. Morris. Thank you, folks. We'll bring you back Dr. Sam as soon as he gets off that airplane and lets me know when we can record him. Oh, another day, another non-dollar, I'm mad, so maybe we'll <laughs> – stuff hurts sometimes. But, folks, love and light, and thank you for being my friend. I know it's hard because yep. I'm – yeah. Y'all have, too, have right? a good evening. All right. Thank you, Ahmed, and call me tomorrow if you can, okay? Got two more shows. All Next right. two nights, folks. All right. Oh, I'm getting it.